Hello and welcome to Inspirational Women's Week. Now, those of you who attended the college last year, remember staff last year, will know that we did a brilliant event, a week-long event, where we invited in lots of inspirational speakers and uh, we also had a big event on the Friday, a lunch and a ceremony that recognised our nominated um, inspirational women across the college. Well, we can't do that this year because of current, the current climate with everything that's happening. But we still want to recognise those, those students, the staff, your mums, your nans, everyone who is inspirational to you. I'm very proud to say last year we had over 55 nominations uh, from yourselves, from fellow staff um, for inspirational women in their lives. But this year we've had an unbelievable over 85 nominations, which is just brilliant. So this is something I know that we can build on year in, year out. And fingers crossed, next year, we'll be back to having a big lunch and celebrating those women in our lives. So we've broken it down to a series of categories this year. Um, and we would love to read out all 85 of them, but unfortunately, we haven't got time. So therefore, we have chosen a specific woman from each category. Okay, so we're going to highlight those categories. We've got some of, some of them we've maybe managed to catch up with. We've had a chat with them um, and others. It'll just be a case of me recognising them and reading out their nominations. So without further ado, I would like to start with our nominated friend. So our level three barber, Jane Murphy, nominated her fellow peer in college, Hannah Pownell. And I'm going to read out why Jane nominated Hannah. Hannah is in college doing level three barbering. She looks after her mum, who is in ill health, as well as being a mum for four lovely kids. Hannah's been a constant support through me, through my personal issues. And every day during lockdown has still had time to message me, see how I'm doing as I am currently suffering with depression. I think she's amazing. A good friend that I would be lost without, especially during lockdown. She deserves this so much as she is a true inspiration. Let's just watch the little chat we had with Jane and Hannah. So um, I'm very excited to welcome two of our students here at Hubert College uh, who have been with us forever. I think they were about 12 when they first started with us. Um, but uh, brilliant students, uh, I had the pleasure of teaching both of them. Um, but as part of Inspirational Women nominations, Jane uh, nominated her friend Hannah um, and she wanted Hannah to be recognised for the friendship that she's given us. So why did you nominate Hannah then, Jane? Um, she's, be, she's a good mum. Um, she's a good daughter. And especially during lockdown, she's been a good friend, keeping in touch, keeping me spirit high, doing me head in at times, but now being brilliant. And how do, you, how, how do you miss to juggle it all, Hannah? Because I remember when I used to teach you, I always used to feel like you took too much on. So how do you manage to do it all? I don't know, Lou, I just do. It's my mum mainly I look after. She's just been recently, well, in October, George, before lockdown hit, she got diagnosed with Alzheimer's and I'm a okay. main carer, as well as looking after my daughter, who's got ADHD, ADD as well. So I just kind of, I like to keep busy and I like people to know that I'm there if they need me type thing. So I just, I don't know how I would do it. I just do You just got to do it, haven't you? Because there's no one else to do it. So... Well, you're still a real inspiration, Hannah, and you, you know, you thank you for everything that you do. And um, as I say, I'll read out Jane's nomination, but it is lovely. And the fact that you've been such a support for Jane through COVID and checking in on Jane and making sure everything's okay. And I know you do that for lots of other people in the group as well. So, yeah. um, and Jane, you're a real inspiration to us as well, darling. You're always yes, you are. 
you're always looking after other students as well. So um, I'm very, actually, I recognize both of you too because you're brilliant yeah. students. You're a credit to the college. And uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you for both of us. But Hannah, you are officially our recognized, nominated friend for Inspirational Women's Day. So thank you very thank much. Thank you, Right. Welcome, there, girls. I see Thank you all soon. Bye. Bye. So next, I would like to recognise our nominated grandmother as an inspirational woman. And this nomination came from Thomas Downey. And he would like to nominate and we would like to recognise his wonderful nan, Maria Walker. And this is what Thomas said about his grandmother. My nan has been supporting me so much in life and I don't think she gives herself enough appreciation for what she has dealt with. My neighbour across the road is scared of the world outside of her front door and especially with COVID. And my nan cares for her. Every time my nan and granddad make food, they always make an extra plate for her. She always has a smile on her face and making sure that every second counts. She never judges me. And even when found out, even when she found out that I was gay, she always said that she always knew and it made no difference. I always trust my nan with absolutely everything and I could not possibly be without her. What a wonderful nomination. Obviously, brilliant nan and granddad help neighbours or being totally acceptant of who you are and why shouldn't she be Thomas? Okay, so our next nomination is for our mum. Um, so again, we had a brilliant chance to chat to Sean Bowner and her amazing mum, Sandra, um, which will follow now. But firstly, I'm just going to read what Sean said about her mum. My mum has been a specialist nurse in the community throughout the entire situation in revolving COVID. She's been working from eight o'clock in the morning till nine o'clock at night, as well as managing eight different teams of district nurses that include for the likes of those people that are suffering with diabetes. And she also herself goes out and calls to people's homes She's my role model and superhero. She's been awarded the Queen's Nursing Award and has also been nursing for over 40 years. I've never met anyone who works harder than her and that's why I'm proud to call her my mum. So um, welcome to another one of our inspirational nominees and this is our recognised um inspirational mum so uh sean nominated her mum wonderful sandra as an inspiration and um when we read out her nomination which i will do after this chat you'll realize why first of all thank you both so much for coming uh on the program today for inspirational women oh thank you thank you so much for having us really you're welcome so sean go on why 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 did you nominate your mum? What's what's so good about your mum? She puts everyone else first. Like always. <laughs> she puts just, everyone else first. Yeah. Just doesn't take time for herself. <laughs> ever. But will go out of her way to make anyone else's day. So <laughs> Sandra, lovely. you've been am I right in saying you've been a nurse for over forty years? Is that right? Uh, yeah. 40 years in April. <laughs> 40. For the first, I'll say, Sandra, you don't look old enough, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, 40 years in April, you've been nursing, and what is it? Am I right in saying you're a district nurse? Is that is that right? Um, I, um, well, I, I work in um, I work in the community. Um, I'm head of specialist nursing, and uh, I'm a respiratory specialist nurse um, for. 15 hours of, of my working week and the rest of the time I um, I have six other teams um, so I work closely with um, the day-to-day -day, um, management of the services and uh, troubleshoot any issues between primary and secondary care and, and go out and see patients myself as well so 
yeah, it's a busy, busy, uh, yeah, busy workload. Um, and I've just oh. finished a week of on call, so <laughs> for the hours of hours. So, and yeah. and also, I mean, it must it you know it goes without saying, and I'll try and do this and not get emotional. But thank you for everything that. Uh, you've been doing um, especially in this current climate that we've been through you, I mean I've always said nurses are angels on earth but um, certainly with with everything that you've had to um, deal with over this last year thank you Please. so how many brothers and sisters are there Sean because you sent me a picture there seems to be yeah. loads so. yeah, two brothers. <laughs> you have two brothers yeah. older or younger than you Sean older, older. okay so you're the ah oh, you're the baby this <laughs> is the baby Sandra she's the surprise <laughs> He was a surprise. Yeah, a nice friends. surprise. A nice yeah. surprise. I so, uh, oh, oh, the other two words. That's you keep yeah. telling yourself that. Yeah. Um, so, what course are you on, Sean? Um, professional catering. And are you enjoying it at the college and everything yeah. like that? Oh well, that's lovely to hear. Well, this is just a moment to recognise your wonderful mum. As I say, we'll we'll read out your nominations after this. Um. As I said, we are welcoming you in when we can to a wonderful spa day at the college. Um, Sean might be able to organise some lunch for you at the same time if she's in the catering place. Um, but, you know, you are an inspiration, Sandra, and not for just what you do uh, as a nurse, but, you know, for over 40 years. And I believe you won the Queen's Nursing Award as well, didn't you? Yeah. Um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, for, for um, outstanding service um, in the community, um, that was um, l uh, late last year. Um, so, which was was again was a lovely surprise. Um, so, yeah, it was great. <laughs> well, as I said, you, you really you really are a, a real inspiration. So, thank you for sharing this time. Thank you on behalf of the community for everything that you do for the community, and. Um, it was just a privilege to speak to you today and to recognise you, Sandra. So have a wonderful, now you're off shift, have a great <laughs> inspirational Women's Day. And I look forward to seeing you in the um, in the college while, um, while you have your spa day. Oh, thank you so much. All right, please. take care. Lovely to speak and to you both. You. Stay safe. Thanks. Thanks for Bye. Thank you. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Bye. Our next nomination is for our recognised sister. And this nomination comes from Lily Rustin, who has nominated her sister, Casey Rustin. Caitlin has autism as well as underlying health conditions and often struggles in college when learning. Online learning has brought so much stress to Caitlin. However, she has never given up and she keeps going. Caitlin has tried really hard through lockdown and I'm very proud of her and she's a real inspiration to me. So last but by no means least, there's been a theme this year for Inspirational Women's Week in college and that's recognising the inspirational women that walk our corridors. So there's been a series of three interviews that we've had with our senior managers, uh, our female senior managers, Natalie Connor, Carol O'Neill and Rachel Hennigan our CEO and principal. We had lots of nominations for staff, which I'm really, really proud to say, but I'm just going to read a couple out that really shone out to me, recognising the tutors, the inspirational women that teach you every day. So our first nomination is from Deborah Fox, and she would like to recognise Gail O'Hara. And this is what Deborah wrote. She is a powerhouse of a lady. She is the epitome of professionalism and has the patience of a saint. Has gone above and beyond through her own personal tragedy and grief and has always delivered top-notch lessons and continue to support and encourage us throughout the year. My hat goes off to her. And count my blessings for her understanding and compassion. So another female tutor that we would like to recognise is Kelly Randall. And this nomination came in from Kelly Dickinson. And this is what Kelly Dickinson said about Kelly Randall, who is our curriculum lead for beauty and media makeup. I inspire to become a teacher like Kelly. I never imagined I could be a teacher, but now with the guidance and support 
I know I will be in the future. This is all down to Kelly. She's an amazing teacher and she always pushes us and encourages us to do our best. She's a true inspiration, especially to myself. Well done, Gail. Well done, Kelly. And well done for all of you brilliant, inspirational female teachers that we have in the college. So happy Inspirational Women's Week. I hope you get take a moment to message that inspirational woman in your life. And um, also take a moment to give yourself a pat on the back for being an inspirational woman yourself. Take care. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed these interviews. Happy Inspirational Women's Week, everyone.